Hey everybody, how you doing? I did pretty good. I am going to do a review on the Arteza glitter. And they have lots of them, obviously. 54, as you can see. And there's just so many different colors. Boy, it would take me, yeah, 20 minutes to do all of them. But it's nice because on the back, it does tell you exactly what colors there are. And uh, I'm actually going to probably take this out of the box, lay them out of shop. That way I can see, you know. So just to name a few, there's Shamrock Green. And then there's this pretty brilliant silver. So I'm pretty much, that's how big they are. Loving this, yeah, it's pretty neat. Here's there's the front ones are all um, the holographic glitters and uh, holographic green. You know what? I should put some of that in there too. And there's holographic red. Just all kinds of colors in here. Okay. Uh, Really happy about this to do a review with this, and uh, I just was thinking, okay, Christmas balls, what should I do? I've seen a couple people doing paintings with just their medium with the glitter mixed in it, I thought that was pretty neat too. Um, but eh, I thought of something here, I don't know if it's gonna work out too well. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. We'll see. Because if you put paint on top of glitter, use mix it in with your acrylic, it varies the color of the glitter, right? So we'll just see if I can get a pretty design on this canvas. Okay, just using some white acrylic Artist Loft flow paint. And uh, I could have used acrylic or Arteza. I should have used Anyway, this is an Arteza canvas also. It's a 12 by 12. And I've always been happy with Arteza products, always. I especially love their acrylic paints. And um, I've tried the metallics, I've tried the gouache, and is that what it's called, the gouache? Yeah. And gee, a lot of stuff, okay? They're little canvases. And so I'm excited about doing this. So we'll just get started. I do have a coupon code Sherry's Life 3 for 10% off of Arteza in my description. There's a link that will take you straight to these products. And um, the canvas and the glitters. And uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anything. I think that's just about it. So, if you're ever interested, take advantage of the coupons. No matter where it's at. If they're mine or somebody else's, it don't matter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my canvas first. Okay? This is all pre-mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and a little bit of water. So, a little bit on the runnier side. So, I'll be right back. working all right so that's just all covered and i'm just gonna play around with this with some of the glitter and just leave it lay there there's some white You know what? We're just playing around. Trying something different. I've never tried before. <laughs> Can't even see it. It's pretty though. Okay. I'm going to go with dark to light. I'll do the white first. Here's the, this is the holographic blue.
that's it. I'm kind of digging it. I'm going to put a little bit of gold over here in the corner. And just a little bit over here in this corner. The side's got a little bit sprinkled down in there, so that's cool. Okay. So I'm actually loving this. It is so different that I'm loving it, you know. It was fun. And I like all the white grooves in there, like little grains. Of... I don't even know how to explain that, but it's pretty. And I can only imagine this resin. Then it would really look pretty, I'll betcha. But it's just beautiful as it is. Sometimes cameras kind of mess with uh, glitter, you know, to where it's not super glittery for you. As I, I can look it in the camera and it's not, the glitter's not shimmering like crazy like it is for me. But that's because of the light, okay? But yeah, I'll take it outside and show it to you once it's dry. So I suppose you could do it all kinds of different ways too. You could take some, you know, one color here, color here, color here, color there, and then do some swirling. But the thing is, is you don't want to have too much of the white on the bottom, the base, because then it will overlap and cover up the glitter. And that's what you don't want, you know? There's no sense in doing it if it's gonna cover it up. But yeah, I've tried mixing glitter in paint before and it just kind of, covers up all the glitter so I thought of this yeah the sides look cool resin would really be awesome but I turned it around each way to see which way I like it and uh, I like it this way. kind of popped all this the grains up here and I don't know I'm calling them grains <laughs> or this way the magenta going through the side there it really don't matter. It, you know, it's beauty's in the eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> so, well, I think it's pretty neat. Well, you guys let me know what you think. Let's just take a look up close here. I know it's a bunch of glitter, but you can kind of maybe see some of the shimmer. And I'll kind of tilt it as I'm going a little. kind of neat that white glitter was kind of silly to put in there but you live and learn right <laughs> yeah it's pretty neat I like it so I think that's going to be something fun to see once it's dry and then put a coat of resin on there and that'll be really neat so anyway thank you for watching guys so yeah, if you're ever interested in the glitter set, you can check it out in my description and um, take advantage of the coupon code. I am an affiliate. I need to mention this. I always forget to with Arteza and I do receive a small portion of whatever purchases are made at no extra cost to you guys though. And uh, that's it. I'm digging it. I think it's pretty neat. It's different. That's for sure. Reminds me of a resin painting too. I was thinking about doing with resin also, but uh, we'll, we'll, I could work with this stuff. You know, the glitter in resin. I have a lot of it, obviously, so I'll be doing a lot with it. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Catch you later. Bye bye now.